I have been doing more online shopping. So I have two packages of fabric that I received in the mail that I want to share with you. So one of them is from Cali Fabrics, which I love shopping at Cali Fabrics. So let me open this. I have been making quite a bit of outerwear. So I've made like, I think two coats, and then like a jacket and then I made the teddy bear kind of a cardigan kind of thing so I want to transition now and maybe start making some tops so I picked up these fabrics with tops in mind so let me see wow this is kind of tough to get open my scissors aren't the best either, but they should work here soon. Hold on, hold on, bear with me. Okay, so this is, from what I can remember, it is a striped fabric. And, yep, I see it, it's blue and white striped. And what does it say? It says, light blue and white vertical striped chambray. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I think this should make a really nice top. So, here we go, just real simple. It's kind of sheer though, huh? A little bit, it seems. Hmm, okay, well, I don't know maybe I'll make a top maybe I won't we'll see <laughs> but that's the first one now the second package is from girl Charlie I didn't know that girl Charlie was is also in California I had no idea I've never purchased fabric from girl Charlie before their package came in the mail by FedEx and it's packaged and wrapped up pretty nicely also. Let me get through this bundle. They really put this in here. So I remember what this is. This is a knit and it's polka dot. Wow, these polka dots are bigger than I thought they were. They didn't look this big online to me. Here's the polka dot fabric. So let me open this they folded it so nicely it's just all packaged in there real nice here we go so this is just a simple knit fabric and I thought I wanted to make a top we'll see I may or may not make a top so these are my two newest fabrics so I'm looking forward to putting those in the wash and then figuring out what I want to make with them. And then also I am going on another trip. So I'm going to be spending a little time in the Midwest and I plan to take two garments with me that I made last year, but I've never worn before. They are a little bit heavier. So I think the climate in the Midwest will be perfect for these garments. All right, it is time to go. I'm really excited. I had to pull out my scarf and my coat and I have a hat in my luggage because it is going to be 30 degrees where I'm going. And it's funny because yesterday it was 80 degrees here. So I wanted to be prepared and I made sure that I wore a lot of layers. So I'm excited for my little trip. Okay, so we're making a quick stop to get some gas, but before we got gas, we checked our mailbox and I have a pattern. So I saw this pattern on Pinterest and I was like, oh, that is just super cute. I like view A. I really like the long one. View B is super cute too, but I think when I make this, I will go for A first because I love it. So this says, it is a very easy Vogue and the number it says is R10220, but I will try to find the actual real pattern number. 
and let me see if it's on the inside and then I can let you know. Oh, here it is. It's on the inside. Vogue 9372. So we have landed and our rental car is a Jeep. So that should be fun. So we have made it to our hotel room. It is late at night. Well, I shouldn't say too late. It's maybe around eight or nine o'clock. And we are just now getting to our hotel room. I will check back in with you all tomorrow. I woke up this morning and I looked out the window and there was a little bit of snow on the ground. So I was like, oh, look, I haven't seen snow in forever. So I wanted to just get on the elevator, go down and see it a little closer and show you all what it is. It's really not much, but for someone that hasn't seen snow in a long time, I thought it was interesting to share. So I wanted to share with you the garment that I wore on the airplane. These two garments are both McCall patterns. This is the Sherpa fabric that I purchased from Joanne not too long ago and I decided to make this pullover kind of like a sweatshirt type of deal. I did use different fabric for the neckline, for the waistband, and also for the sleeve area. And this is really warm and I absolutely love it. So this is what I had on all day yesterday while I was traveling. But then I also made a pair of pants in the same fabric from Joanne. And I used the same like little knit for the end of the leg. I also used it in the pocket area. And I think that's it on these. So these are just some simple little pullover pants that I've made a gazillion times. This is a pattern that I just really love. But yeah, they're just sweatpants with pockets. And so these two together are really warm. So I think that they are nice to wear out as an outfit or either just to wear lounging in. But they are super comfy and perfect for weather like this. All right, so before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So do you ever get calls from unwanted numbers and then you just choose not to answer them? Well, I recently found out that on iPhones, if you are receiving a call from an unwanted number, you can have your phone to automatically not ring when it's an unknown or unrecognized number and have that phone call or that caller be sent to voicemail so they can leave you a message if they choose to and the way that you would do that is on your iPhone you will go to settings then you go to phone and then you go to silence unknown callers and there's a slide so you can slide the feature on or you can slide the feature off if you decide that it's not for you